One thing we all have in common is music. Music is the universal language bridging all cultures. But why? There is a special connection we as humans have with sounds put in rhythmic patterns. We connect with it instantly. Turn on any fast-paced song around a two-year-old, and they can't help but to dance to the beat. We instinctively understand the vibrational connection of all things through sound. But few people actually know the power that frequencies of sound possess. It can be used as a weapon, or it can be used as a component for healing. In ancient times, geometric patterns and structures were created using certain frequencies of sound. This is known as cymatics. Cymatics is the study of wave phenomena and vibration through sound. It's a method that demonstrates the vibratory nature of reality through frequency and vibration. As the frequency uh, is mirrored in the droplet. You'll actually see the geometric patterns in that droplet. Now, what's happening, and the reason that this is so significant, is because we're going to do a frequency sweep. We're going to go from low frequencies to higher frequencies. And what you'll find is this. You'll see that in the lower frequencies, the patterns are less complex. And in the higher frequency, the patterns are more complex. So we're going through a sweep from lower to higher frequency. I'm sharing this with you now because Earth is essentially going through a frequency sweep. Our fundamental pulse, our base pulse that has hovered around 7.8 cycles per second now is changing. And again, there's a lot of controversy about what the change is and we're witnessing the change. Studies have shown that frequencies can be used in negative or positive ways. It has been proven that some frequencies can help tune the brain for better focusing while learning. And some low frequencies have been known to cause major discomfort and have a unhealthy effect on the human body. In the 1930s, Dr. Royal Raymond Reif successfully cured 16 out of 16 terminally ill cancer patients in less than 70 days by using his hand-built frequency device. His work was later suppressed for obvious reasons. There are two special frequencies that have a tremendous effect on the human mind and body. Those frequencies are 432 hertz and 528 hertz. 528 Hertz is known as the miracle tone and often associated with DNA repair. It resonates with the human body and nature and is one of the original Sofagio scales. In 2010, John Hutchinson, an electromagnetic energy expert from Vancouver, Canada, successfully purified oil infested waters using 528 hertz and other sophageal frequencies. The 432 hertz frequency is known as Virtus A and is a sound that is mathematically tuned and the most consistent to nature. Music based in Virtus A has a beneficial healing effect on the human body because it's a tone mathematically fundamental to nature's ability to repair itself. Both 432 hertz and 528 hertz are notes of the same celestial music and are proven to create healing vibrations for the mind, body, and spirit. All the great composers from Bach, Chopin, Mozart, all used 432 hertz as the frequencies to create their masterpieces. The original standard for symphonies and classical compositions was in 432 hertz, but 
that has since been changed to 440 hertz, a frequency that is not in resonance with the human body. 440 hertz is a unnatural tone that is not found anywhere in nature. When certain authorities found out about the effects certain frequencies have on the body and mind, they began to use it for their own benefit, but to the detriment of others. They would notice how music affected the atmosphere and attitudes of those listening. Here's a history lesson. In Nazi Germany, the propaganda minister, Joseph Goebbels, changed the original scale from 432 hertz to 440 hertz. They found that 440 hertz stifles creativity and dulls the emotions, keeping the masses under a certain amount of control. Thus, 440 hertz was adopted by the Rockefeller Foundation and set as the official scale for music. A lot of this information has been hidden and suppressed from the public for obvious reasons. If people understood the dynamics of frequency and sound, they will be able to unlock different doorways within them, releasing fear and negative blockages. One of the things that has been kept from us is the power of our emotions. Our emotions have a physical impact on the world around us. We literally attract things in our life based on our feelings and strength of emotions. If certain frequencies can stifle emotions, there also must be frequencies that can boost emotions. The two most famous frequencies are, of course, 432 hertz and 528 hertz. You can also choose from the seven sulfagio scales. These scales have a tremendous effect on the body. Each frequency has a function and characteristic. Let's start with the first one. 396 hertz. This tone helps turn grief into joy, liberating guilt and fear. 417 hertz. This tone cleanses traumatic experiences and facilitates change. 528 hertz. As we mentioned before, this frequency is known as the natural frequency of the earth. It repairs DNA and brings transformation and miracles into your life. 639 hertz. This frequency enhances communication, understanding, tolerance, and love. In other words, it strengthens relationships. 741 hertz. This frequency leads you into the power of self-expression, which results in a pure and stable life. It also helps clean the cells of toxins. 852 hertz. This frequency helps awaken intuition and returns your vibration to spiritual order. 963 hertz. This tone helps restore the spirit to its original settings. It is directly connected to light or God. Use these frequencies often to restore the mind, body, and spirit. Every night, my wife and I sleep with at least one of these frequencies playing in the background. We always wake up refreshed and renewed. Dr. Masaru Emoto used some of these frequencies in his famous water experiment. Dr. Emoto would expose water to certain music or frequencies and then freeze the water. Once the water was successfully frozen, he would take a high powered camera and photograph the crystal structures formed. What he found absolutely blew him away. He noticed that the water that was exposed to Mozart and Beethoven, aka 432 Hertz, had beautiful geometric patterns 
formed within the water crystal. When the water had been exposed to rock music and other forms of 440 hertz, the crystals in the water almost looked to be polluted, even though the water came from the same source. So the question is, why should you care about the results of these experiments? It's because your body is over 70% water. If the frequencies are transforming the water in these experiments, what are the frequencies doing to the water inside of your body? I have created some meditative instrumental videos and affirmations that have been tuned to the frequencies of 432 hertz and 528 hertz. I also have a video that includes all seven sofagio frequencies. You can find a link to each audio in the description. When you hear these tones, something will stir up within you. You will immediately connect and resonate with these frequencies because they are the natural sound of you. One thing we all have to be aware of is that we are all vibrational beings attuned to a certain frequency. If our body is attuned to its natural frequency, it has no choice but to repair itself. But if the body remains at a vibrational dissonance, it will continue to poison the body, creating dis-ease. 